let's talk about the geology of green aventurine. Green aventurine is the most common of the aventurine family. It is a microcrystalline green quartz that displays aventurescence, which is an optical reflectance effect that in certain gems is caused by the presence of tiny aligned inclusions of minerals and manifesting itself brightly in colored reflections. In this case of green aventurine, trace particles of fuchsite, a chromium mica, within the silica acid gives the green aventurine its color and sparkle. Green aventurine can range any Anywhere from a pale to a very dark green in color. Green aventurine is part of the quartz family, which has two main subdivisions, the macrocrystalline quartz and the microcrystalline quartz. Examples, one you can see with the naked eye, some are so small you have to see with a microscope. A green aventurine falls under the microcrystalline division. Aventurine is created when liquid magma from a volcanic explosion cools down and transforms into igneous rock. During this cooling period, silica acid bubbles shift from being a gas and a liquid into a solid compound. Compound. The bubbles become a hollow space in the igneous rock and the silica acid becomes quartz crystals. Trace particles of mica within the silica acid gives the green aventurine its color and its sparkle. On the most scale of mineral hardness, green aventurine grades at a 7, which means it's very durable. It's the same as the quartz because it's in the quartz family. Green aventurine is mined primarily in India and Brazil, but it also can be found in China, Canada, the United States, and South Africa. 